Swimming in the ocean or in lakes can be a wonderful thing. You're at one with nature. You're getting great exercise. Of course, you're a little nervous about what else is swimming near you, but odds are it's just some gross plastic. Usually, the worst thing about swimming is when you hit a batch of slimy, smelly seaweed. Well, now that green stuff could lessen the amount of plastic that's swimming with you. Seaweed that once gave off stink could soon help you drink. Here's Allie Ward to explain. What if something of the ocean could be the very thing that saves the ocean? C. Briganti, her name representative of the very thing she's trying to save, is the co-founder of a company called Lollyware. And with it, she is ready to turn the tide on plastic, one seaweed straw at a time. Lollyware straw of the future is made with kelp. It's a highly renewable and regenerative material. I grew up in Honolulu, Hawaii, so I've always been um, attracted to the marine environment and have a very deep connection with the ocean. And when I discovered that there are five trillion pieces of plastic floating in the ocean today, I knew we had to solve for this. I stopped by Sea's Hudson River Hideaway in Beacon, New York to learn more about the sea change that's coming. So this is harvested seaweed. Yes. You can use to make straws. Yes. Yeah. Where do you get this? So this seaweed came from a local seaweed farmer in New York. There's thousands of different species of seaweed. Okay. We use around six to eight. How many steps would you say it takes to get from the raw seaweed to the finished straw? There's a lot of steps. Yeah. <laughs> C says the amount of seaweed here would make approximately 100,000 straws. Straws like this. That's just like using a plastic straw, mm -hmm. only it's not gonna end up in the ocean forever. It really holds up. It's like slightly more flexible at the bottom. Mm -hmm. The mouthfeel is the same as plastic. The moment it hits water, you can start to bend it. Ah, So it changes states. Mm -hmm. And the best part is it'll break down at the same rate as food waste. So if you put this in your compost mm -hmm. alongside other food waste, it'll simply break down. Nothing else really does that. It's even colored with spirulina. So we use an actual microalgae for the pigment. C and her team have formed a network of seaweed suppliers around the world so they can co-locate production of the new materials next to customers in an effort to keep a low carbon footprint. Ultimately, that's our business. We're in the business of the blue carbon economy, reducing carbon in the atmosphere. When you say the blue carbon economy, that is taking carbon out of the atmosphere by growing things in the sea? Exactly. So blue carbon is the amount of carbon that's sequestered from any marine life. So that could include our seagrasses, our marshes, macroalgae, microalgae. I believe that there's so much promise for seaweed to be a scalable replacement for plastic. So I started to discover that seaweed has a lot of intelligence and a lot of secrets to share. Secrets that may heal and reveal a modern day sea-inspired circle of life.